What is beauty? The, is it the description? Is it the thing that you see, the proportions, the height, the depth, the shadows? <coughs> A picture by Michelangelo or the statue of his? What is beauty? Is it in your eye or it is there, out there? Or it is not in your eye or out there. You understand what I'm you understand what I'm talking about? We are we say that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful architecture, marvelous cathedral, or a lovely painting. It's out there. Or is it in the eye? Because it's been trained, it's been observing, it's seen that which is ugly and, and not proportionate, not having no depth, no silence, no. S- is it out there or is it in the eye? Or it has nothing to do with the eye or with that outside. I'm asking you. Beauty is when you are not. Right? You understand? When you look, it is you are looking. You are judging. You are saying that is propor- that is in marvelous proportion. That is so still. That has got depth. That has got such grandeur. But it's all you looking, giving it importance. But when you are not there, that is beauty. You understand? Oh, you don't know. And when that beauty is there, that expression of it hmm, may never take place. You understand? But we want to express it, because that's self-fulfilment. I'm an artist, I'm great, you follow? Therefore beauty may be when the when you, as a human being, with all your travail, with your anxiety, pain, sorrow, are not there, there is beauty. I hope no good. So, so the mind now is is still, without a movement. Then you, there you ask, one of, then when investigating, not investigating, because all investigation, all movement has stopped. Then what is there when movement stops? You understand? Is compassion a movement? You know, I'm ca- one is compassionate, one goes and does something for another, goes to some Indian village or some village and helps the people because you are compassionate. So we are, all that is various forms of sentimentality, affection and so on, but, but we are asking something much more important. Which is when there is no movement of the mind, of no movement, then what takes place? What is there? We are asking: Is it compassion, or is it beyond all that? Which is: Is there something that is totally 
original and therefore sacred. Do you understand? Because we, we know we don't know what, what is sacred. We have, our images are sacred. Whether you go to a church or a temple or a mosque, our images are sacred. But the images are put together by thought. So thought is material process, movement. So when there is no movement, <coughs> is there something totally original, totally untouched by humanity, untouched by all the movement of thought? Therefore, that may be that which is original and therefore most holy. Do you understand? This is real meditation. To start from the very beginning, not knowing. Please, if you start with knowing, you end up in doubt. You understand? If you start with not knowing, you end up with absolute truth, which is certainty. I wonder if you capture this. Because we began by saying, we must investigate into ourselves, and ourselves is the known, therefore empty the known. Hmm? So from that emptiness all the rest of it flows naturally. So where there is something most holy, which is the more whole movement of meditation, then life has a totally different meaning. It is never superficial, never. You may have ten suits at a house, but if you have this, nothing matters. <coughs>